everybody welcome to Vida so this is vlog every day April and we have been away for a little while we'll fill you in on what's been going on while we we're away we're going to definitely try our best to do Vida this month there's so much that's been going on we've had sickness we've had Troy's been away so much with work lately we've got a few extras moving in so we've been sorting things around the house we've got an inspection coming up we've got so much going on so we're gonna to get to all that, but right now, today is the last day of term, so the boys finish early. I need to go to the shops before they get out of school, not in our town either, so I need to drive a little way away. Uh, it's about lunchtime, so I'm gonna quickly do that first, and then later at the end of this vlog, we'll catch you all up on everything that's been going on. I've got Ebony and Violet with me. So Ebony's finished for the term, Jade and Rory are finishing today, early finish as well. Um, and then we've got the April school holidays, Easter school holidays. So everyone will be home for it's about 17 days because of the public holidays. Um, but right now I need to go get organized for Easter because I've got most of the stuff, but I just need a few more things and I'm not gonna get the chance to go to the shops again without the little kids. Until Easter, we've also got Elijah's birthday on Monday, Easter Monday this year, but we'll be focusing on his birthday. So we need to get a few things for that too. Ebony wants to get a few things for her friend's birthday. So let's go to the shops, do all that, and then we'll explain all about what we've been doing when we get back. Finished shopping and I've come to pick the boys up from school, but we can't leave because our tire is blown. So it's just completely flat. So I think we're gonna get the pram out and start walking home. Taking my car home now, it's not too far from home. Rach got a flat tire and I was way out the other side of town working. It's taken me nearly two hours to get home from, from where I was. Um, so with the kids and the car seats and everything, there's just no other way for her to get home but to start walking. So me and Violet here, we're gonna walk home the last few minutes and uh, then we're gonna need to, uh, I'll drive over to the school where Rachel's car is, see if we can get the uh, spare tire on and then we'll have to get the uh, get uh, get both cars home. Okay, so here we are back at the kids' school and, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go and check it out what's happened with the car, see if I can chuck the spare on. But I'm not sure if the spare's got air in it yet. That's always the next question. Is the spare okay? See what happens. Well, let's go and have a look. Mm. <sighs> Ooh, that doesn't look good. Oh, look at that. This looks like it's been scrubbed out. I didn't even, haven't even seen that before. Yeah. It's definitely scrubbed it. It's been scrubbing for some reason. Uh, so, yep, that tires have gone up. There's our spare. Looks like it's in good nick. Good enough to do the job anyway. All right, I'm gonna have to switch over, swap over the spare. Hopefully it's, uh, it's okay, it looks okay. And get us home. So it's actually after six o'clock now. We just got home at six o'clock and it was an early day at school. So they finished at 2.30. It was about 2.45 when we started walking home till six o'clock. And I will say the boys and Violet didn't complain once. It was, they were just amazing. They walked the whole way because we don't live in our school district. We live completely the other side of town uh, because we have the sibling rule where if your siblings went to a certain school that you can go there too, even though we don't live in the zone. 
So we live a very long way away when it comes to walking, but we made it. We stopped at the shopping center on the way for a little bit of milk and cookies. And then we walked a bit further and we stopped at, Baden was at work, so all the kids work, but only Baden was at work tonight and he bought us some food. So we had a little bit of KFC on the way home too. So I don't think we'll be making dinner tonight. Very exhausted anyway. And they're not really that hungry. If we can have some fruit and, and maybe some cereal if we're still hungry, but that, is that so I was planning on doing a little haul of the stuff we got at the shop so I got a few things at Big W and a few things at Kmart but that stuff's all in the car so I was going to do a haul before the kids saw it all so I won't do that now because they're all at home the three girls are minding the three little ones while we get this tire sorted let's hope we can get this fixed this is what the spare looks like <laughs> what in the world it's not there. No, not at all. Which way does it go? Are you sure? <laughs> so funny. It's gonna look great on the road. I'm just glad everything worked. I'm glad it was there. I'm glad I could get to the jack. I'm glad that I could get these nuts undone without. Because sometimes they're so tightly done, they're yeah. going to the rattle gun will get them off. So nothing's gonna be open for a little while anyway to replace them. Oh crap, you're right. Certainly nothing tomorrow. We're not going anywhere, no, not. so it we doesn't got, matter. Got the other car. Yeah. How'd it go? Yeah, you were going so slow. Yeah, just to be safe. <laughs> You're like 45. I hung in there and yeah, it's fine. It's, it is what it is. It doesn't look great, but it did the job. Well, uh, I'm just glad that uh, we're able to get it changed over and home and done with so we don't have anything to stress about now. Is it coming out? I'm biting my finger. Don't bite. <laughs> is your teeth coming out, Seb? <laughs> is it coming out? Oh, still. Yeah. Still got a little bit of root still hanging on there. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, let's go back to when we stopped vlogging last, which was in February. It's about six weeks. We haven't been vlogging for, well, nearly two months. We haven't vlogged. And this is our first vlog back. So we just wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown over what's been happening over that, that period that we haven't um, seen you. Um, I think the first thing was... Um, after our last vlog, you brought home gastro somehow. Oh, really? Yeah. And it was I, the most violent gastro in the world. <laughs> are you sure it was my fault? Well, you were the first one with it. I was the first one to go down with the symptoms. Yeah. So, yeah, all right. Probably was yeah. me then. 24 hours after that, you went away for a week. Yes. And... That was a... So, sickness ruled the roost yes. for a week. I was sick and then everyone pretty much else yeah. was... It took about two weeks to go yeah. through us all. It was awful. It was... Probably the worst gastro we've ever had. Yeah, going back at least a decade. That's as sick as I have felt for a long time, and just as soon never ever feel that way again. It's a distant memory now. We're feeling much much better, but that was a tough week, and it kind of led to us. It, we dropped the ball because we were way too sick well, to vlog or to edit. And you were on what? Yeah. Cleaning up all that. Yeah. Um, luckily, I got it first after you. Yeah. And the others didn't have it while I had it, so thankfully the girls really helped look after the kids while I was super sick. Mm. Then of course it was all their turns to have it. 
so yeah. it worked out okay <laughs> but yeah, yeah it was a hard time it was tough so it kind of knocked us over as Rach said I was away for nearly I was away for six nights which is the longest stretch I've ever been away um, for so it was really a double whammy there so we just dropped the ball with with the vlogging and it kind of just rolled on after that well it's just woken up from her afternoon nap so yeah. Had a late afternoon nap, which means she's going to be up late tonight, but that's okay. Also, just a few health things. So, I had an ultrasound and found some issues there, and I've got another one in a couple of days to see if I need an operation. So, that was going on. Mm. Also, had some blood tests, and Ebony also had some blood tests and some checkups. Hers is just more of a general thing. Another thing that happened. I'm terrified of dentists and I haven't been in 10 years. Oh, that's right, you broke a tooth. My tooth just started crumbling away. Mm. And I was super brave and I went that very same day and got a filling. And all my other teeth are good. She said she, said she couldn't believe how clean and good they all were for not going for 10 years. So, very relieved with that. Teeth. I yeah. try to, yes. But anytime anything can happen. During the, during the pandemic, I, have, I was eating um, peanuts and chewed down on one and it broke a little mm -hmm. piece of my tooth off. That's uh, like three years ago and that little piece is still missing. I've still got to get that yeah, fixed. Well, I got it doesn't cause me any pain. Yeah, mine was um, cereal and it had a hole, but it was all hollow inside the tooth mm. as well. Like it was all coming away from inside the tooth. Mm. There was a little hole on the outside and, the, and then getting hollow on the inside. Really at the nerve. Mm. So, so we just good. caught that in time. But you've still got to go back and have a root canal, don't you? Possibly. Mm. So that was that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, another thing that happened while we were away was we had a super bad storm one day. But it was really quick, but it was very violent, and I hadn't realised that it had blown the side gate open. Oh yeah. So when Charlie went back outside after the storm, that yeah. night we, when we went to feed him, we found out he was gone. And I was away that night. You were away. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. you went away again for like four nights the next week or something. I've, yeah. I've had a really busy February. Um, away a lot March as well up until Easter which it is now um, so very busy and uh, yeah Charlie uh, the wind literally blew open the yeah. gate and Charlie like escaped. it pushed through uh, zip ties yeah I zip tied it shut to make sure that didn't happen and the wind hit it that hard mm. it, it broke through and the wind door came open and even though he is completely blind, he found his way out. Because he was, because he's blind, I was so terrified mm, that he was yeah. hit by a car or something. And I just thought, had a really yeah. bad feeling we, we were we never going to see him again. We lost him. Two days forever. later, mm. two days later, there was a post on Facebook. Yeah. And so we got him at the pound. We got him at the pound because um, he was he's microchipped. So the problem was they had, I think they had my old phone number. In the in the detail, and they were ringing the old number, oh, the one Elliot's which is got, Elliot's yeah. got it, but mainly it's flat or yeah. not. You know, he doesn't answer it, and we don't check it because it's an old number. Anyway, um, they didn't weren't able to contact, so they put the post up. Somebody saw the post, sent it to Rach. Rach sent it to me, and I, I rang rang up, and uh, we uh, had to pay a fee to get him out, of course, but it wasn't too bad because like sixty dollars. Yeah, because he was registered and microchipped and everything. We done all the right things. So that it wasn't too much. If you don't have him registered or microchipped, it's hundreds and hundreds to yeah, get. Yeah, and out. then it's more per night. Yeah, and I had to rush because it was shut. Yeah, I think it's so, like thirty five thirty five dollars a night. I think they said it would be for for accommodations for him. Um, but so Rach, I, was, I couldn't yeah. believe we got him home. I really thought we mm. wouldn't see him again. Rach got went over and got him and got him home and, and he's been fine ever since. Although we just had another big storm come through. I have to go and check that mm. gate. There was also another incident um, that occurred um, just in the last few months. Uh, Baden was robbed. Um, attacked. Yeah, he was a, he was attacked and robbed um, for his phone and his shoes. And this was in the city. Yeah, that's right. So. With his friend. Yeah, at the train station. That was a bit of trauma. Uh, for everybody, um, got the phone call. I think it was like well, it was like eleven at night, but it happened at like nine thirty. Mm. Fortunately, the police were on were very close by on the scene um, because it was at the train station. Um, which sometimes I find it hard to believe that these things can happen mm. despite Southern police Cross. presence and everything was all on uh, CCTV. And the persons were caught, at least some of them. I think there was a group of them um, involved. But um, look, Baden's okay. He wasn't injured. Thank goodness. Um, he did receive some, like he clearly was traumatized um, by the whole thing. Being followed up on to make sure that uh, 
everything's okay. He is okay. He's fine. Um, just unfortunately, um, our family got caught up in one of these things. You know, you see on the news all the time. You think it'll never happen to you, but clearly it does happen to anyone. Just grateful anyone. that it wasn't worse than it was. Yeah. The things you do see on the news. Yeah, as good as they could be for what happened that he was able to um, come out of it without any physical injuries, but clearly there's some mm. emotional trauma, yeah, that he um, has to work through, which he is. So there was that, that happened. Um, fortunately, it's a bit in the rearview mirror now, and, you know, Baden's doing really well. Pretty much just because you've been away more than usual, and more than you will be away, mm. it's just been hard for me to... Like, it's been fine, for, easy for me to look after everything, but to vlog as well has been a bit much. So that, yeah. unfortunately, that's the thing that goes when I'm on my own. <laughs> it's the vlogging. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you have, there's a priority list. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And, you know, vlogging is something we, you know, we both enjoy doing and you, you enjoy doing it as yeah. well. I mean, clearly the kids and the house and looking after everything and the groceries and, and the budget and all of that has to come before yeah. the vlogging. But the other thing is we don't just want to vlog mundane stuff. We want to vlog memories and fun stuff. Yeah. And while you're away, it's just the same old thing over and over and over and over. So there's not yeah. much to vlog anyway. But I think the other... Uh, you there, Seb? Um, I think the other thing is, you know, we've talked about a number of things that have um, happened to us that aren't happy, uh, great things. Yeah. And we're not the sort of... We're just not the sort we of family that... The camera yeah, when, we, when we're not well, when things are going badly, yeah, we, we don't pick up the camera. Yeah. It's the first thing to go. We love to vlog positive, happy, good stuff. Um, that's just us, and but which is not to say that the bad stuff doesn't happen. It yeah. does happen, which is why you've seen the gap, and you will see more gaps. And in the past, if you followed us, you know, I know there's some of you watching out there right now who've probably been following us for six years. Mm -hmm. You will have seen plenty of gaps over that journey. We just go with the flow. We don't force it. Yeah. So, we really love to do it, but we don't, like you said, we don't force it. We we vlog because we're happy about it. If if things aren't going great, well, you know. And I know you guys out there all understand, you you live lives just like we do, ups and downs, and that's how life is, um, so we just run with it. Yeah, but besides from what has happened, we've got other stuff happening, we've got a few extras moving in this year, so we're getting the house sorted for that. We're trying to go through the house and declutter our, basically our COVID spending. Yeah, well, we were talking <laughs> we were about talking this, about you know, that. when COVID hit and we were, you know, we were at home here for, well, basically for the most part, two years. We self-soothed during that period, like I'm sure a lot of people did, by just buying a lot oh of God. stuff off the internet. We got a lot of things, we, we, we put them together at home, we did a lot of, we set up rooms, new rooms, new furniture, beds, and You couldn't and leave the sorts. house. Yeah, you couldn't leave the house. <laughs> and I think, because we go on holiday every year, we basically, mm. two to three years we didn't, so we used that money mm. to buy stuff. And of yep. course it was a waste and we wouldn't do it again, but, no one knew how to cope with those times. So Yeah, everything was unprecedented and you know, we're talking to people who know that. You guys yeah. know that, you know exactly That's what we're we talking about. Um, I suppose depending on where you lived in the world, the situation might have been could have been better, could have been worse. Yeah. We we lived in a situation where we felt like safe in ourselves, that we weren't at risk of getting the, the virus at the time so much because we were at home and isolated such a long time which which meant we felt safe from the virus but we also were very isolated as a from as life. a family from yeah kids not going to school me not i was home from working from home and even though nine, i work at home like with yeah. the running the house i didn't have my work to myself like i, I was no you, you know, were i couldn't yeah, do what i normally things did. were got very claustrophobic yeah. because yeah. we were all here for a long time and had a lot of unintended consequences. I worked from home for nine months. The kids worked, didn't go to school for over a year. Even when you went back, you weren't going like all the time. No, Elijah was doing VCA year 12. That ruined his year. I mean, we, that's just one example. Yeah. Um, so there are lots of legacies from there. So, so we self-soothed self a lot with buying stuff. And we had, that's right, we had that extra cash that we weren't spending to, or saving to go anywhere, our holiday had been cancelled. You, pre you pretty much couldn't look forward at that time either. You no. couldn't be like, I'll save that money for a better holiday in a few yeah. years. Why, why are we saving our money? Because yeah. we didn't know when it was going to exactly. end. You know, we assumed it would end, well, at the start. It didn't feel like it in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> at the start, we thought it was going to end rather quickly, but then a couple of months in, we're like, this is going to go on yeah. for a long time. All of that has, has led to, I think, yeah, a bit of a what you might call a COVID hangover that yeah. we're still trying to shake off. We need to keep decluttering. We've done a lot we of have. decluttering, but clearly we had a lot 
to get yeah. done and still really do. And um, yeah, it's, the, it's a waste of money to get rid of things, but it's already been wasted. All we can do is learn from it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But would we have done things differently if we had to go back through the same situation all over again? We might not do things much differently because for the time that it was, it helped us through. Yeah, it helped you us know. through. It wasn't a mistake to do what we did. Yeah. However, now, after the fact, it's become somewhat surplus to acquire. But we also have an extra baby and we have mm. um, yes. you know, different aged kids who need different things. And yeah. this was a few years ago now. Yeah, the kids versus, it, I mean, it's a whole different scenario because of the age of the kids. Some have, some have left, some have, and the old, younger kids are now the older kids. And yeah. Yeah, so it's all very different. Um, well, we better finish this off. Yes, but I've enjoyed... Uh, I love the sit-downs. I was telling you, Rachel, we should do more of these. <laughs> I don't know. I you guys would like listening to us waffle on. <laughs> we have... I think sometimes we, we because we don't go deep into our lives a lot at all. No, we just very, blog. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when we chat like this, it's nice, I think, for... I like to get it. I like to talk. That's just me. But, yes. And you're not a talker. I'm talk. not a talker. <laughs> no. uh, I like to talk. So it's, I feel like it's almost cathartic. <laughs> but anyway. So we're doing Vita vlog every day, April. We're going to try our best to get a vlog up every day. This is day one. Day one. And April is kind of already. It's not so bad as normal because we've had Easter and Easter's mm. early this year. Um, so I don't know if that's going to make it easier or harder for us to um, to vlog every day, but yeah, there you go. Today being Easter Monday, first of April. And Elijah's birthday. He's twenty-one today. Yeah, 20, 21. twenty-one. I've been a, a mum one. for twenty-one years. You have. <laughs> You're still mumming. Yes. <laughs> well, it's good that you're so good at it. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll leave you uh, with it there. Thanks for watching. Till tomorrow, your roommate. <laughs>